Hello, once again, YouTube, to another, re well, this is my first review, actually, I think it's my second, review of Game Booster 2. I kind of did a review on the original Game Booster 1, and it was good, so I obit the company who actually makes Game Booster. They put me on their website, see, so you just click this, and listen. They'll be teaching you how to make that's me and so they saw my video and kind kindly gave me the beta of game booster 2 ahead of time but it is out now they gave me it a couple days ago but I just wanted to mess with it and put the review out the day it comes out so you guys don't have to wait so you could just go get it okay I'll put a picture of old game booster up so you know what it looks like and now let's open up Game Booster 2. Yes. And as you can tell, it is a lot different. Oh wait, I have it in game gaming mode right now. I always have it in gaming mode mode because it speeds up my computer and frees up or frees up so much so much RAM. And let me just restore it right now. Normally it doesn't take that long because I'm recording, so. Okay, notice right off the bat that it has a new design instead of the white background, it's all black. And the switch to gaming, mo gaming mode is different. Before it used to just click, but now it's kind of like the iPod and iPad that you just click and drag. Well, there's one thing I don't like about it. If you go out, you can't drag, which I think they should re redo that. And so that just slide it, and it should s free up so much RAM. And you can also customize it to like what things you want it to stop. So click on customize. I know it's pretty hard to see, but it's right there. And these are all the things that you can stop. Let me just put that on there like that. All the things. I'm gonna hit next, and then these are the other things you can stop. And click go to confirm your settings and go into game mode. But I don't want that right now. And I also want to show you the advice. Okay, this actually tells you how many services can be stopped, like how many programs will be ended. And three drivers need to be updated. I used to have four, and that was my sound card. It shows you like all your basic gaming stuff like that. All the things that will improve your gaming and if they need updates. And three game essentials are not installed or out of date. Which is basically like Steam, X-Fire, and stuff like that. Okay, then we go to dra er, game drivers on the side here. Oh, and please send them feedback to how you like it up here in the corner. Okay, see this right here is my graphics card. You could tell it is out of date by two virgins. Wow. Virgins. Not virgins. <laughs> virgins. Okay. And it's two versions. Well, whole versions have been released since I got my computer back last year. Now, I never knew that until I downloaded Game Booster. This, I have no idea what it is. And this is my Wi Fi. Then you just highlight what you want and click go to. Uh, download page. Once you get that, just click rescan and it should be gone. But I didn't update any of those. And down here where it says basic info, it tells you your operating system. I'm running Windows 7 Home Premium, CPU, Intel Core du 2 Duo, and RAM, 4 gigs, display, that's my HD card or my graphics card so then you just go to game essentials which is like team speak I don't have X fire I don't have and steam I have but it's I'm gonna update that l later so game defrag is old stuff um, okay my computer's going a little bit slow because I'm recording okay these are all the games that it detected but if there's a game in here that you don't see, you can just click on select game directory to analyze. You just go into the gaming folder 
and click uh, analyze and it should defrag that game all those files in there should be defragged and making uh, PC gameplay so much faster then you go to system tweaks here before I had it set to default but then I switch it to top performance after you switch these two you're gonna have to you're gonna have to restart your computer and tweaks I really didn't I know also tad difference in this and hey my cat walked in front of me again every single time okay then we go to game tools which I really like okay advanced system care I have it on my computer I might do a review of it later and this opens up the settings to your mouse like you could change like the speed of your mouse or anything like that keyboard same thing game controllers let me open that up see what that says drag it in here oh it detects the controllers and then check your computer speed which I found this pretty interesting because I didn't know how to do that before let me just uh, stupid recording okay this right here tells you how fast your computer is mine isn't that fast my processor yeah, and everything like that I don't know how to up this. If there's someone out there, just please post a comment below. And this uh, cleanup is it gets rid of all the files that you don't need. And I ran that and I got 5 gigs back. So, okay. So that is basically my review on Game Booster 2. I really like it. It's such a upgrade to the since the first one. And if you'd like to see my first, uh, basically, uh, how to with my game booster one please click the annotation and uh... please subscribe to my channel go download this link will be in the description and thank you very much take care and also want to thank iobit for sending me this ahead of time so i can review it on time so yeah thanks everybody take care bye